Morning, morning. Tuesday, the 16th of December. Last day at this youth hostel in Chester. <laughs> then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Of what can a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what he has done. I tell you the truth, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen. Curious how, if you focus on God's word, Christ speaking, that the passage deepens and strengthens. I say the Lord's Prayer. Many times each day. my soul, but you can actually look at each word and they have greater meaning. Yeah. That bit at the end of that passage, Christ said of John, perhaps he's you know, he'll be alive in the second coming. To me, what he was saying was, really, once one has seen Christ, received the Holy Spirit, then, although the body is dead, one already has eternal life. That means all around us are those people who have lived before but who have truly seen you that's the logic of it and they're calling us all me to join them that's the logic this I believe so this isn't the real world around me yes this is a table there is electric light I have fresh clean running water they certainly don't in Zimbabwe but no the real world is in here in one's soul This is heaven. We carry our heaven with us, within us. Wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, I'm off to Jolly Old Pen Riff in Cumbria. Change of scene. Indeed. I love you, my Lord. <coughs> With all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my star. I love you.